And how's it going, everyone? This is Harris Kruskich, BR Live's Combat Sports Reporter. And today I'm here with a very special guest, AEW President Tony Khan. Tony, how are you? Great, Harris. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. And thank you for taking the time. Uh, we are here to preview, well, a couple different things. But first and foremost, tomorrow night's AEW Dynamite on February 24th. And it's a loaded card. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to talk about Lance Archer against Ray Phoenix competing for a spot in the face of the Revolution ladder match at Revolution. Uh, this is probably going to be the match of the night, wouldn't you agree? I, I don't want to say, uh, you know, which matches are going to be the best or which matches aren't going to be the best, but I will say that I think this is going to be one of the best matches you're going to see. Uh, and I think it'll be hard for any match to top Ray Phoenix versus Lance Archer. Ray Phoenix, the best high-flying wrestler in the world right now, and arguably the best wrestler in the world right now. And he's had so many great matches recently. And then Lance Archer, right alongside him in some of these matches, uh, as a partner, has been on fire. Um, they're two of our top main event stars, and they've never wrestled one-on-one in AEW before, ever. So it's a great, great match for Dynamite. Great stakes with a chance to move on to the pay-per-view and be in this huge ladder match and get a a chance to compete for the TNT title and, and a big spot on Revolution, which is such an important show for us. I, and uh, so Lance versus Phoenix, I believe, could be the best match on Dynamite. It could also be the best match you'll see on television all week or even all month. Yeah, really looking forward to that one. Next up, we've got the continuation of the Women's Elimination uh, Tournament. And we've got Britt Baker against Nyla Rose, Dr. Britt Baker, excuse me. Uh, hopefully she doesn't hear me mess, mess her name up. Uh, uh, what do you expect to see out of that match? It's going to be fantastic. Uh, Britt Baker and Nyla Rose, or Dr. Britt Baker and Nyla Rose are two of our top wrestlers. They're two of our top women's wrestlers. They're also just two of the top wrestlers in our company. And similar to Lance and Phoenix, they've never had a one-on-one -on -one match on AEW television before two of our top people and it's a, a great match that maybe nobody expected they were going to see similar to Lance and Phoenix when they were teaming, you know, Britt and Isla have teamed, uh, may not have everyone thought of this was the match they were going to see, but it's a great match and I'm really excited for it. And I think our women's eliminator tournament, we can talk a lot more about it. Uh, with you representing Bleacher Report, we've got a really exciting special also coming up with them, but this match on dynamite, Harris, is this, uh, this going to air tomorrow? Uh, probably in, uh, an hour or two after the interview. Oh, so it's going to be today. Okay, right, great. Yep. Uh, okay, so then tomorrow's Dynamite. Uh, we've got one of uh, the most exciting cards you're going to see. And if you haven't watched Dynamite lately or haven't watched Dynamite ever, I think it's a great, great chance to step in and see some of our best wrestlers in action. Um, Lance and Phoenix, Britt and Isla, I'm super excited about. Hangman versus Isaiah, uh, also going to be great. We can get to that. But there's so many great matches on the card. And uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm glad we get to talk about them. Uh, but you brought up two of the most exciting ones for sure already in Phoenix versus Blanth Archer and Dr. Britt Baker versus Nyla Rose. Well, that's a good segue to another thing that we're going to talk about. This Sunday on Bleach Report, we will have – the uh, a couple of different matches on uh, Bleach Report and the Bleach Report card, including Riho against Thunder Rosa in the other semifinal of the U.S. side of the bracket, as well as uh, Yuka, Yuka Sakazaki. Yuka Sakazaki, thank you so much, and Rio Mizunami. And it should be an outstanding uh, two matches that we have there, as well as a stacked six-woman tag match with the AEW world champion Hikaru Shida. Yeah, Hikaru Shida, Mei Segura, and uh, Rin Katakura taking on Emi Sakura, Veni, and Maki Ito. It'd be a great match. Uh, and we have a great card. Uh, Mizunami versus Sakazaki is going to be tremendous. And Thunder Rosa versus Rio, again, two of the top wrestlers in AEW. Um, Thunder Rosa, not a full time member of our roster, but has made a huge, huge impact while she's been here in AEW. And uh, former NWA women's champion and I think has to be one of the favorites to win. How did you feel? I guess, what was the, the reasoning behind setting up this huge tournament? Because it's absolutely stacked from top to bottom. Uh, Why do you feel that right now was the time to, to find a, a rightful contender to Karushita's title? There's ideas come across all the time and you say 
interesting or now is maybe not the right time do a lot of ideas some ideas just flat out are bad and then there's a lot of good ideas you want to do and maybe again the timing's not right or there's some reason why you can't do them this was an idea where everything really lined up and it was not my idea uh the people who brought the idea to me were actually Sheeta and kenny omega and i thought it was a great idea and i wanted to do it and uh, they suggested it, and then I sat down with Kenny, and we spent several days putting together this bracket. And he had a bunch of great ideas, and a lot of it came from them. And then I stepped in and moved a couple pieces around and said, I think this person would be good here, or this person would be good there. But the idea was Kenny and Sheeta coming to me, and I was really excited to work on it. And again, this Sunday at 7 p.m. on Bleach Report, you can watch those terrific matches it should be a, a great card Brit versus hey. nyla first and foremost yeah absolutely and once we get through that uh we'll know the winner of Britain nyla will be taking on the winner of thunder rosa versus rio so rio had such a great comeback match for us against serena so i'm really excited to see how rio and thunder rosa turns out i'm really excited to see Britt versus nyla and that's going to be great match for the American final of the bracket. Absolutely. And going back to tomorrow night's Dynamite card, we have Team Taz, Brian Cage and Ricky Starks taking on the Varsity Blondes. Now, this will obviously be a good, good match, but I think what people are more looking forward to and, and curious to see is, will Sting make an appearance? Will Darby Allen make an appearance during this match or after it? Sting is going to be Sting is going to be there. Sting's going to be there and Sting's looking for payback and I can promise you Sting is going to be there. It's going to be interesting to see what exactly he does. Obviously uh, he wasn't too happy about what's been going on the last couple of weeks with team Taz leading up to their match at revolution. I wanted to ask you about Sting real quick, uh, you know, heading into revolution. It's his first in-ring match in, in five and a half years or so. Uh, how do you feel about that in general? Do you have any nerves about it? Any hesitations? No, I feel great about it. And if I had any nerves about it, I wouldn't have let him go out there and be in a position to take a power bomb. And he was ready to do that. He's been working out. He's been competing. He's been training with Darby before Darby had gotten hurt. So um, he's been regularly com you know, competing in a ring for a while. He hasn't had a live match. He hasn't had a, a professional match in a while. But he was ready to he was ready to get in the ring and wrestle and he is ready to get in the ring and wrestle on pay-per-view so i'm very excited for it and uh he's been ready to go for a while now next up on the card adam page against isaiah cassidy adam page taking on one of matt hardy's clients ahead of their match at revolution how do you see this one playing out i'm so excited for this match tomorrow night please tune in and watch this match hangman versus isaiah i'm begging people to watch this i love uh, everything about the Hangman. I think Hangman Page is one of the most complete wrestlers in the world. And I think over the past year plus, he has become everything fans ever wanted him to be. He is uh, a top star. He is somebody who is not just a fan favorite, but he's one of the best wrestlers in the world. And uh, Isaiah and Big Money Matt last week, it was a lot of fun them and it was a lot of fun frankly for me personally seeing uh the jaguars mascot out there uh putting a beating on the hangman and uh wasn't too fun for the hangman and i think this will be a really great match it's a really great story i believe we have going with hangman and big money matt and private party and uh this is a great chance for isaiah to show why he's one of the most exciting young up-and-coming wrestlers uh, Isaiah hasn't had that many singles matches, but he's done really well in the couple he's had. And this is, I think, is going to be a great chance for Isaiah to shine. And I expect Isaiah and Hangman to be another great match. And last but not least on that card, Jake Hager against Brandon Cutler. Uh, I'm going to assume that Vegas likes Jake Hager in this one as the odds on favorite. Yeah, I think Jake uh, is going to be the overwhelming favorite, but Brandon's put in some great performances on Dark, and if people haven't seen Brandon wrestle in a while, I think he's a hugely improved wrestler, and uh, you know, I, I believe that that'll be a fun match, but there's also a couple more uh, that I wouldn't uh, forget to talk about. Uh, well, I guess we've briefly addressed uh, Team Taz versus the Blondes, and you mentioned 
thing coming in, but I don't want to short sell that match because I think that uh, the Blondes have done a great job. And even though people are wondering what's going to happen with Sting and Team Taz, and Sting is coming, uh, Sting will be there, um, that uh, I don't want to overlook Garrison and Pillman versus Cage and Starks because I think it could be an excellent match. All four guys have really put in the work for AEW, and that's two great teams. So I'm excited for that. And then I don't think we've talked yet about John Moxley. You, ju- you, as soon as you were saying that, I was like, you know what? I know I'm forgetting somebody. Of course, how could I forget John Moxley against Ryan Nemeth? Uh, it should be a pretty outstanding match. John Moxley obviously getting ready for his huge showdown at Revolution against Kenny Omega and what's sure to be an insane match. Uh, it, it's an interesting match because John Moxley going up against Ryan Nesmith, who perhaps the general AEW audience might not know a ton about, but he's a young up-and-comer, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Ryan Nemeth, uh, you know, he's a, an overlooked veteran, and it's no secret that his brother is a famous professional wrestler, and Ryan had worked and been through developmental with WWE, and he's a good wrestler in his own right, and he's really getting a chance to prove it. And he's also got a great personality and a great character, and I like Ryan. I think he does a really good job, and, uh, I'm, you know, I'm excited to see more of him. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a scoop in that I uh, am going to be doing a paid ad later tonight on Impact Wrestling. And uh, Ryan is a professional actor, and uh, he's the kind of guy that would be very good if you ever needed to bring in for something like that. So I, I would consider Ryan to be somebody I would, I would use for a paid ad. I think that's for his quality of acting, I think he's, He's even better than a commercial actor, frankly. He's a good, he's a film and television actor, but uh, you know, he's, he's definitely good enough to do my paid ads with me. And I think Ryan is um, really entertaining and I, you know, but frankly, the star of not just that match, but the star of every show he's on and top star in AEW, former champion and one of the best wrestlers in the world. And, the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Wrestler of the Year for the past year, the Wrestling Observer Wrestler of the Year for the past year, John Moxley. And, uh, you know, John Moxley's definitely had, coming in hot looking for uh, Kenny and looking forward to the exploding barbed wire death match at Revolution on Sunday, March 7th. Uh, I mentioned that uh, we were doing a special on Bleacher Report on Sunday. I'm really excited for the Women's Eliminator special this Sunday. It's great to have some of our best wrestlers out there and also to condition our fans because we don't really have history of doing shows on a Sunday. So it's good to do something, I think, this weekend and condition people, hey, Sundays uh, are going to be AEW days here now for the next few weeks. And um, there's no match looming bigger in the world of professional wrestling than Moxley versus Kenny Omega in the exploding barbed wire death match and i think it's going to be tremendous but john's got to get through the hollywood hunk first every time you say exploding barbed wire death match my my brain is spinning i'm like wow this this is going to be a a crazy crazy match so you mentioned revolution uh what are your general thoughts going into it it's it's shaping up to be a tremendous card what are you looking forward to the most uh that match is a huge part of the pay-per-view and i'm very much looking forward to that I'm very much looking forward to the Young Bucks versus Chris Jericho and MJF. I think that's going to be tremendous. Uh, Young Bucks matches on pay-per-view are always great. And Jericho and MJF are two of our top wrestlers, and they can come together and beat anybody, including the Young Bucks, on any given night. So I think that's going to be a great match. And I think the Face of the Revolution ladder match I think is going to be tremendous. We're going to find out whether – Ray Phoenix or Lance Archer is going into this match. We already know about Cody and Scorpio Sky and Penta El Zero Miedo. And some people ask me why Cody and Sky and Penta got into the match early and why Lance and Phoenix have to qualify. And there's a very easy explanation for that story, which is that Cody and Sky and Penta all agreed to terms with me ahead of the match. I was creating a match that didn't really exist, and I offered all the top stars a chance to get in with a contract that was, you know, not a huge bonus payout, but a big opportunity because if you win it, you get a TNT title shot. And uh, so those three were the first three to take me up on it. And now 
a lot of people want this shot now that it's such a big match on a big pay-per-view and they're going to have to go through the qualifying matches. And uh, so I'm having a qualifying match this week. I'm planning another one the next week. And then there's another spot. I haven't decided what to do with it yet. I have an idea. Uh, and I have a, I think I know who might be pretty good for it. Uh, so people might have to wait till revolution to find out who the last uh, person in the ladder match is, but there's definitely going to be some exciting qualifying matches the next couple of weeks and nothing's going to top Ray Phoenix versus Lance Archer. I really think they have a chance to have one of the best wrestling matches you'll see on television anytime period. And, uh, there's a lot of great wrestling on TV any week. There's a lot of great wrestling on TV this week, but I don't think you'll see anything that's going to top Ray Phoenix versus Lance Archer. So just to recap, tomorrow night, AEW Dynamite at 8 p.m. Eastern on TNT. This Sunday, a terrific card with two women's eliminator tournament matches, as well as a stacked six-woman tag match with Hikaru Shida on Bleach Report this Sunday. Next Wednesday, going into AEW Revolution, we have another episode of AEW Dynamite, and then the Sunday following AEW Revolution. It's going to be a pretty insane couple weeks for AEW. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're going to be going uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, starting, uh, you know, tomorrow. And really, we're already into it. Uh, you know, there's Dark tonight on YouTube. We've got a great card on Dark. We've done great viewership. And as far as putting matches on streaming, uh, I think streaming is a huge part of the future of dissemination of wrestling. And our partnership with TNT is first and foremost, Dynamite is our bedrock show, but it's important, these partnerships. And Bleacher Report is a really important partnership for me. So giving Bleacher Report a stack card with great matches is huge. And I think that we have a great chance to put a big card out there uh, and do a, a great show for Bleacher Report, hopefully this weekend with a women's eliminator on Sunday. And then hopefully it gets everybody uh, in, the, in the habit of watching wrestling, AEW wrestling on Sundays. And Revolution will be the first time we've done a pay-per-view on a Sunday on March 7th, but Revolution last year was one of the best wrestling shows of the year. I think a lot of fans uh, in a lot of publications have been voted the, the best wrestling show of 2020. I think we have a chance to do another amazing Revolution this year, and uh, you know I, I, I can't wait. So with streaming being so important to get out there and expose the wrestlers and introduce new fans to the top wrestlers and give everyone a chance to make it accessible. I wanted to make this a free special on Bleacher Report. And also I've been having a lot of the top stars in wrestling wrestle free matches on social media to make appearances. If you've watched AEW Dark lately, you've seen John Moxley, you've seen Pac, Orange Cassidy, some of the, not just the biggest stars in AEW, some of the biggest stars in all of wrestling in the entire world, uh, wrestling on Dark to give the show the credibility and to introduce themselves to maybe some audience that hadn't seen them yet. So uh, I just think it's great. It's great for those shows. It's great for us. It's great for all wrestling fans, in my opinion, whenever we can put more wrestling out there in addition to what we do every Wednesday night, which is our bread and butter product, no doubt. It's shaping up to be a couple of crazy weeks. I'm sure AEW fans can't wait for it. Tony, thank you again for all the time. Much appreciated. It's always great talking to you. And uh, yeah, best of luck the next couple of weeks. Yeah, you too, Harris. It's great to see you too. Hopefully we get to catch up soon. Thanks for interviewing me today, man. Anytime, Tony.